Matt Swires, author of The Maverick Method, founder of The Trademark Company. And today we have a question regarding when do I quit my day job? Um, this is a question that I have fortunately been able to answer a whole bunch and help people with over the years, uh, candidly thousands of times. In short, you're working for somebody else, but you've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Uh, when is it time? When is it the right time to finally say, you know, thank you so much for everything, but I'm leaving to pursue my dream. For me, this has always come down to two questions that you have to ask yourself. Number one, what's your financial situation? And number two, what's your proof of concept? Uh, in regard to the finances, so many entrepreneurs are blessed to effectively have venture capital or you know a whole bunch of money in the bank uh, and such. And so they are able to look at it and say, well, I have you know six months, a year, year and a half, two years of actual financials, irrespective of what may or may not come from the actual business, the new venture. Um, I generally recommend that you should have you know some sort of finances to fall back on to make sure that you have the ability to weather the storm, and honestly, to just pay yourself and pay your bills before you leave. So you're either gonna need savings, venture capital, whatever it is, but you've gotta have some money in the bank. Don't do it if you only have a week or two of savings in the bank, because uh, candidly, you're just not there yet. Continue to work your side gig or your main gig while you build it as a side gig. The second thing is proof of concept. How do you know what your business is going to be is going to sell? How do you know you're going to be able to move those products or services in the marketplace? Um, I want both to know that I financially am able to leap off that cliff, but also that when I do, I know that my products are going to sell and they're going to provide me with the parachute that I need to have a successful business. So some type of proof of concept, whether or not you've made some sales around the neighborhood, online, whatever the case may be, but you need to know that there is a market for your goods or services before you make the leap. So two things, remember, have financials in order, make sure you have some cash reserves when you make that jump, and number two, make sure that you actually have proof of concept. Uh, otherwise, maybe you're just not ready to make the jump, but I'm sure you will be. Just check those two boxes beforehand. Uh, thank you so much for listening, and as always, if you have any questions, just visit us online. Uh, thank you again.